Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be touching up a painting. Not this one though, this one is actually my husband's. So we hosted a youth event where we all painted a Bob Ross painting, specifically Mountain View. And yeah, I am actually fairly impressed because he's never painted before. I mean, look at those mountains, aren't they pretty good? Like, I, I was actually really proud of him that he did it because he's not into art at all. So there's his, and then there is mine. I want to touch up the water. It's just a little bit too blue. And then there's a spot on the mountain and then a smudge in the sky. So I'm just going to touch up those little things and make it, make it a little bit better. For paint, I am just using cheap acrylic tubes. I don't really paint with acrylic too often, so I just buy the cheap stuff. Um, and I am using just the three primaries. I'm using, uh, I think it was a lemon yellow, a blue, and then red, obviously again cheap, so it's not like all the best colors in the world. And Bob uses other colors, but I'm just using the three primaries just to have more control over the colors. And I'm just mixing a more grayish blue because I didn't want it quite so vibrant because that, like, everything else is pretty subdued and the water just kind of is a bit too bam in your face. So I wanted a little bit more of a gray blue and I, I am happy with this color. I think it turned out quite nice. So I'm just kind of filling in all these little spots. I will put... <laughs> kind of have to go back in and fix those bushes, you know, it's fine. So this youth event thing was really great. The kids got really into it. They all did really amazing. They uh, were very stressed out though at the pace that Bob paints. And I will agree, he goes very, very fast because I mean, he's experienced. So, you know, uh, we paused the video a lot. It was a 27 minute video and it took us about two hours, two and a half hours to get through. But uh, yeah, uh, and there was one point where I asked him, I was like, okay, are we ready to hit play? And all of them squealed no at me in unison. It was like, okay. But yeah, I think it, I think it's a lot of fun. But I was really inspired by one of the girls because she ended up adding her own little flair to her painting and she ended up adding some stars and moons to hers and then she added um you know the Loch Ness Monster she added Bigfoot and I was like that's fun that you like made it your own little world so I was like you know what I think I'm gonna do something like that to mine so yes I am touching this up but there will be fun things added to it as well because well, I have that smudge in the sky that needs to get covered, so we're going to cover it with something fun. But for now, I'm just going to keep on touching up all these little spots that just need a little, need a little bit of love because, you know, it's like rushing, rushing through painting it the first time so it could help other people. Like, I only had a couple of palette knives, so it was like rushing palette knives around and just kind of like helping anybody whenever they needed. I also am touching up the mountains just a little bit because it has that same bright blue in it, which I don't really mind the blue too much, but it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, it kind of is a bit much for the eye to take in, but you know, it's a little better now. So I haven't painted much with palette knives before, but you know, it was actually a lot of fun doing these mountains with the palette knife and I actually really, really like the look that it gives. It's like this free, I don't care, but it has texture and I don't know, I really enjoyed it. So I was actually happy with how the mountains turned out with the palette knife. So I kind of want to paint a little bit more with palette knives, which I never, ever thought I'd say. But I also don't really paint much with acrylic or and I've never worked with oil before I know <gasps> shocking but you know I just haven't and so using a palette knife does it's not really a thing with watercolors and gouache so hence the reason for not having worked with it but I want to do more of it at some point in the future because it was fun I have to try really really hard here to not like overwork things 
I get really bad at that. Like, I start, and then I just want to keep going and going, and then I end up ruining things. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but yeah, it was really hard to control myself and to stop and not keep going with the paint and the palette knife and stuff. Okay, so using some tracing paper and some graphite paper, I am transferring this little sketch onto the sky over my little smudge. Now, yes, I could have just drawn this directly onto the canvas with that pencil. However, I was a little concerned about freehanding that directly onto the canvas and making any sort of mistakes and then having to erase it and possibly damage the paint that was underneath, thus causing more smudging and things to cover. Yeah, I just, I didn't want that. So here we are, we freehanded it and then traced it and then drew it on top of graphite paper to transfer it on. Was it more work? Yes. Was it worth it? Also yes because I was I was willing to take the, the time to do those extra steps just to make sure I didn't further damage the painting. So, yes. <laughs> I am Star Warsing up this Bob Ross painting by adding a Star Destroyer to it because, you know, why not, right? We love Star Wars in our house a lot, so decided this this is what needed to be added to the sky. I mean, I could have added a moon or, you know, some sort of natural thing, but nah. Now that just, that wouldn't have been as fun. Plus, I figured this would be kind of fun to display in our family room, which has all sorts of nerdy artwork. We have Lord of the Rings stuff, Star Wars things, Marvel things, video game stuff, like Zelda and Mario and all that type of stuff so I mean I'm not really into this like more old style of old style of painting like Bob Ross's so to make it a little bit more funky and fun and adding this it's something I will like probably actually display now versus something I'll just shove in a drawer or a shelf and never look at again like for probably a year or two. So by doing this to it, it will actually get like displayed and loved and admired. And yeah, very, very excited about this painting. Now, because I'm adding this Star Destroyer to a painting with a different style, like Bob Ross's, I decided to paint it in a more Bob Ross style using the palette knife and just no super precise details, making it kind of obscure and letting the brain fill in those details for you because that's like the beauty of like art. A lot of times if you eliminate certain details, the brain will fill it in for you and by using the palette knife across the bottom of it, it gives the illusion of lights and things like that and kind of, you know, fits the style at the same time, which is awesome. I also decided once I was done, the water was not done. I It needed some of that color reflected down onto it because it just looked kind of like a grayish blue blob. So I added some of that pink to the water as well, which I think finished it off really, really nicely. Overall, this painting is a huge win in my book. Originally being painted with our youth group, that was a ton of fun. And then again, making it a little bit more me and in my style, it was a blast. I really enjoyed doing this. I kind of almost want to do another one again in the future. So yeah, very, very happy with my Mountain View Bob Ross painting with a twist. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my art video today. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe to see any future painting videos. I am trying to do more of these because I really enjoy showing my artwork and my process. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging around and we will see you next time.